Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to learnpythonthehardway.org and click on Read the Free HTML Online, that'll take you to the table of contents. In this video, we're going to look at exercise 14, which is called Prompting and Passing. And if you click on that, it's going to take you to this page. Now, prompting means asking for information, and passing means taking that information from the place that the person enters it and passing it to the place in the code that can do some manipulation on it or, or uh, print it out or display it in the console. So prompting and passing, getting information and then putting it into the right place. Now, uh, we have a fair amount of code that Zed wants us to enter right here. And all we need to do is take a look at these one by one. I'm gonna go to Text Wrangler and we'll look at it one part at a time. The first thing is we're importing a module, uh, which is a small collection of code that can give a little, some extra functions, make our life a little easier. We're importing it from sys. So we say from sys, that's the system, uh, import argv, that's the uh, module that we're gonna be importing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this thing argv and we're gonna, uh, which stands for argument variable. And we're going to put two pieces of information into it. The first is the name of the script. Now that's the, what we're saving it as. So for instance, you see down here, it's ex14.py. That's the script, that's the name of the script. And then username. And this is information that we need to supply in the command line. Up here in terminal, we type Python, and then we type the script name. That's what we always do. But then we add on the username. I'll type in Bart, you'll see there. So we'll have three things entered there in the command line in order to make this work. Now uh, we're specifying what the prompt will look like. Cause you see by default, the prompt is this, uh, well in mine is this blinking green block. You can make it a lot of different things. But Zed says you can actually change it to whatever you want. And in this case, we're gonna change it to a, a right arrow with a space after it because it's pretty easy then that it means type here when it asks a question. Okay. When you first run the program and you put your name in with the command line, it's gonna do three things immediately. First off, it's gonna say hi, and then it's gonna have this variable here that puts in your name. And then it's gonna say, I am the S script. Now the percent sign S is a, it's a format operator and it, uh, it's for a string variable. So it's gonna take a string and it just puts them in. So we finish off our, our little string here that's gonna get displayed. This means, okay, here come the names of the variables that you're gonna stick in here, or the formats, they're, they're called also. And their username and script. I, I know Python calls them formatters or, or interpolation operators, and it, it, to me, they're variables, but um, I will try to remember to call them format operators um, as, we, as we come up on them. So it's gonna say hello and ask, say our name, to explain, give its name, which is the file name. It's gonna say, it's gonna ask us a few questions and then it's going to say, do you like me? And there's gonna be a um, little, it's gonna put your name in there. It's because the first thing it does is gonna put username. Now, the other ones, we're gonna get a little bit of information here. Remember, this is how we've prompted in the past, a way of getting information. We're going to create a variable called likes. And we are going to assign to that variable, the equal sign is the assignment operator, and it means take a value and stick it into the variable. And it's going to be raw input, which means whatever the person types. And it's also going to display the prompt variable. That, so that's a variable name, and it's referring to this thing right up here, the way it's gonna have a right arrow. So it's gonna ask us a question, you know, do you like me with your name? We'll call it the four, and then I'm just saying that the percent sign, you know, here at the end, we have the format activator, though sometimes you know, the string formatting operator, the interpolation operator, though that may have to do more with what you call it in here. Then we'll ask, be asked another question. It's gonna wait for us to type something in and hit return. When it does that, it'll say, where do you live? It'll say your name again. And that means insert a string right here. It's gonna be uh, the username. And then it'll, it'll ask where we live and it'll and whatever you type in, it will put it into a variable called lives. And the third and last question is, what kind of computer do you have? So it's gonna print that out, and then it's not gonna call us by name this time, and the, but it's gonna 
prompt for the information. It's going to put the little prompt that we created up here. It's going to take whatever that raw input is, anything that you type in, it's going to assign it, that's what the equals is, into a variable called computer. So it's going to get data on three things, likes, lives, and computer. Um, it's going to get those when it's running. Uh, you had to put your name in before when you first called the program. We'll show you that in a second. And then it's going to print three lines, sentences. That's doing them in triple quotes so you can have as many lines as you want. It'll observe the breaks. And you see we've got this little raw data thing because we've got raw input here. I'll go, technically that stands for a representation. It's going to take the likes and put it there, the lives there, and the computer there, and that will be the end of it. So anyhow, um, let's come over here and run this through. Now, I've already switched over to my scripts folder. You see if I do print working directory, that's the big long address to get to my scripts folder. So that's where I am. That's good. I'm going to clear that by doing command K. And what I need to do, because these are my scripts that are in the scripts folder. You can see it right there. I'm going to type in the word Python, all lowercase, and I'm going to type in the name of the file, ex14.py. So that's, by the way, that's the first argument. You see right here, script over here, that's asking for this piece of information. The second piece that we have to type in here, or we will get an error message. Well, here, watch. If I, do, if I just do it this way and I hit uh, enter, we get an error message. It's saying it needs more than one value to unpack. The point of that is we need to put something else in. I'm going to press the up arrow to bring back what I just typed in. Then I'm going to add a space and my name. Just put one word in. It's only looking for one word here. Now when I do it, it runs because that argument, my name, had to be included because that's what's going into this thing, argv. It's looking for two things that it's going to take. The script name is one and then another piece of information. It's the other. Do you like me, Bart? Oh, yes. Very much. Where do you live, Bart? I actually live in Salt Lake City. That's in Utah, the United States. What kind of computer do you have? A shiny MacBook Pro. And then when I enter that, it runs this last little bit of code. That's the print down here. It says, all right, so you said, oh, yes, very much about liking me. That's the first line here. The next line is, and you live in Salt Lake City. Not sure where that is. It's in Utah. And you have a shiny MacBook Pro computer. That's nice. Anyhow, what this is, is a, is a way of getting a little bit of information, both on the command line when a person first calls the script, and then prompting for more information within the script when it's running, uh, specifying our prompt, and then passing that into the final response. It's a nice way to make it interactive, gather data, and display the data. Anyhow, that's it, and I'll see you for the next program.